I don't know, but I'm going to jump in, wave my quick hand, and wave out. Hey, Michael, Michael, you, you got to pump it up. You can't let them ducks take advantage of you like they did in the video yesterday. We're clear. Yeah, I got something on the way. I, uh, I traded it up for something. I got rid of my uh, Sonar BR-21 and a, uh, a uh, ham radio antenna, a uh, 442 meter. And uh, it's at uh, the scientist's house getting uh, primped, and uh, so it's only about uh, 80 watts swinging a tree. It's nothing big. I don't want anything big. I don't want it from TVI. But I'll, uh, I'll pump it up. By the end of next week, I should have it. Well, just do me a favor. Don't touch anything about inside of that radio or that mic sound because you sound gorgeous, dude. And like I said, if you got RFI problems, dude, it's really something simple. It's not the radio or the amp. It's the coax jumpers, the connectors, and the length of those wires, Michael. So if you, can, if you can't run at least 300 watts and not throw any kind of TVI, you really need my help. I'm on the side. Mikey, you see when I spin the camera on my shit, you can knock on every door around me for three blocks and no one knows who Richie is or no one knows I exist. You understand me? I live with the lady who's head of the block association, Michael. Since I've been here, there was three meetings, Michael. My name didn't come up once, nor did any radio interference. Nor every time I make a different move, I go knock in the check. Gotcha. Yeah, you would listen. I kept my word to my Brooklynites. So far, I'm a man of my word. So far, every time I spin that camera, that thing's under the 1.0, top it out. Uh, yo, but, but you gotta love the cheerleading squads, whoever their techs are. They sound good on 31, but whenever they go to 19, they're 3 to 5 pounds less than carrier at all times. Gotta love these techies, huh? Yeah, I love that picture you put up of Enforcer. I took a look at him and I was like, dude, you should not be threatening people on the radio. I really took a good long look at that clear picture and I was like... nothing but back in my day in 1996 when I was about living his life even that chick can tell you I had more meat around my Johnson than he's got on his whole body but you want to see something hilarious dude this morning on 19 he's him swearing up and down well it works both ways you're coming in here a lot better I must be coming into you a lot better Mikey go check his carrier Mikey <laughs> Mikey it was hilarious even even crazy Eddie out there was was talking the same time and him most time because crazy Eddie couldn't hear him so yeah I do I do enjoy his new antenna system no about to doubt that one. But anyway, Michael, this morning's 19 Gates and yesterday's Gates, man, he took a little advantage with you on the barefoot tip. I'm like, man, he's actually riding Mikey. I like, you know, so, but uh, it was hilarious. Dude, this morning's Gates are unreal, man. And uh, yeah, man, he got that lawyer on retainer again. 
Oh, you got to check the descriptions of all yesterday's videos. Listen, I'm busy over here. I got to finish getting dressed. Guys, it's your show. It's rolling. And don't you worry about punky pie, man. Yeah, well, I don't hear him so good anymore. I heard him a lot better on the other antenna, so I don't know. He bought a new antenna. He's not doing too well. Yeah, well, uh, I don't know what the hell's going on She heard me telling people about the uh, IMAX and, and last year's video gates in the beginning couple of them when I was psychologically accusing him of being Birdman because I figured this was a Birdman production with the similarity. He was explaining back then in last year's gate how he just put up his brand new IMAX. That was the one he got. Please do not tell him his carrier was less. Please do not tell him anything. Let me do the work. Let me work this motherfucker. And inevitably and eventually it's a rap trap and gonzo. Richie, I'm quiet. Get out of here, bitch. I think he's in love with you, but he's not so tough anymore, you know? I wonder if that uh, uh, attorney he got... Yo, he's a law man, Mike. You know he's a cop. <laughs> You're the only police officer out here, Rich. think that cloud knows the definition of redundant where he could key up right now and give us two sentences that could define that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when he tends to get hit with meanings of words, he runs like a little candy ass. Watch, I won't even ask him a definition. Hey, yo, Enforcer, what's the title of motor vehicles, dog? See, some cop he is, huh? Well, he's on the phone with his attorney. I heard it cost him five grand for a retainer. I wouldn't worry about that retainer. Mm. I'd worry about taking care of all those outstanding tickets he's got in Long Island. That's why he's hiding by the city 20. Oh, really? You hooked him up, huh, Rich? Nah, if I hook him up, if I hook him up, he'll be in the place he don't want to be, the Nassau County Jail. He wouldn't survive jail. He wouldn't even survive 210 Skillhorn Street, the tombs. He wouldn't survive that. He wouldn't even get a seat. He'd have to stand up or lean up against the bars. Ain't nobody giving him a seat. Mikey, his record is 21 and 0, Mikey. What you mean he won't survive? 21 and 0? What weight class are we talking about? Fairyland? Uh, I think it was the Wizard of Oz Arena. Please, 
What you telling me no more for? These are not my words. These are coming from his mouth. This is his own lips spitting these lyrics. Uh, 21 and 0. It's probably Owen 21. I think he's dyslexic. I think he was just dreaming about to win.
Well, you know, Mikey, it all sounds good, but I, I have to refrain to inform him that when I roll on somebody's 20, I'm not rolling on allegation. When I roll on a 20, I'm taking a 10-11 out with me. Michael, this is getting better by the minute. Check out all the descriptions to yesterday's videos. Oh, baby pa. Uh, yo, you guys out there in Long Island, man of war, uh, the other clown on this clown's team that's feeding me all the info, yo, man, you guys, <laughs> I guess you are getting what you want, man. Don't worry, I'll take all the weight for it. No sweat, I got big shoulders. Oh, we, you don't have to take the weight for something you didn't do. No one's blaming you. No one's saying it's you unless you're guilty. I'm just saying you know who's doing it. All right, whether you're part of it or whether you know about it in your life. I'll show you. They come to you, believe me. It's uh, this is not a show. It's not a game, man. You got. Oh, he crying like a baby dog. You're breaching your rights right now. You know. You think it's you think it's a joke sending authorities to people's houses, making false allegations. That's all good. Because remember, he's a jailhouse lawyer. I guess he ain't a cop no more. The allegations. They're the ones going to go to jail. Remember that. It's the law, brother. This isn't my words. This is coming from the law. Well, you know, Mr. Enforcer, Mr. Lawman, Mr. Cop, Mr. Kevlar Gloves, I really don't know what's going on. We got about eight video games yesterday of Cupcake accusing me, accusing my telephone number as, ah, uh, popping up somewhere. But you know what? We're learning more and more about what's going on through your own stupid lips than anything else. So come on, tell us some more, because I can assure you, dog, like I said, when I roll on a 20, I'm taking a 10-11 with me. Like I said, it's all good. It's all good. When they roll up on the person or people involved, the laugh is going to be on them. All right? It's all good. I'm not involved with this in any way or form. I'm just saying. Keep playing games. Keep. Gotta love this, man. I know. I, I, I can think about who might be behind this. You know who it is. You can play ignorant. You can play stupid all you want. But you know what's going on. You clowns out there want to call authorities on people. Uh, it's all good, man. It's all fun on your side until, you know what? They investigate and they find out where the phone call was coming from, where it originated, and then they roll up on you guys. Hey, don't cry for me. Well, you know, Mr. Enforcer, I would give anything for them to roll up on me and that phone call originate from me. But I'll let you in on a little secret, see it as it's not you and you're not the one involved, but you're the one crying the most. I'll make you a deal. You fucking cheerleader jerk-offs, stop starting fights and making your cash and checks with your mouth. Your bodies can't cash. Stop pissing people off and you won't have to worry about this bullshit. Because I can assure you, I'm not behind any of it. When I'm behind something... It's a skin game, a knuckle game, not a talk game. Mikey, I gotta go to work. You can deal with these clowns. Gee, thanks, Rich. Crying like a little bitch. You leave me with a crybaby. Alright, just for the record, guys, just for the record, to understand what's going on here today, you're going to need yesterday's videos, starting with major crime number one. CK was spilling all the beans through the first five videos, Punky Pussy came in about the video six or eight. Guys, you're going to need yesterday's videos, the major crime series, to understand what is going on. But yesterday I was misled, thinking that they're accused and me or that I made a phone call. My apologies. I'm glad the more that bullshit artist talks, the more clearer it gets. The more he elaborates, the more, the more, oh, the more, oh, the more mitigating it gets. Uh, some lawman. I'm breaching the law. I'm keying my mic. I'm breaching my own law. I'm back. Uh, you're part of it. Don't, don't try to play innocent. Don't try to act like you didn't do anything wrong. Your name, your name came out. So don't try to play stupid. Don't try to act like you're not part of what's going on. And we're not talking. Watch this. Watch this. We're talking about making phone calls at various. Watch this. Watch this. People's houses on false allegations. All right? It's all good because uh, once they investigate, and they see there was no wrongdoing. They're gonna come back and who, who made the original call? All right? So you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can play stupid, ignorant. Oh, I don't know 
what you're talking about. But you're part of it. All right? You're part of the ring, and the whole ring is going to go down like a bunch of dominoes. It's called a domino effect. You know? Using my words. A little money in the bank for attorneys. Well, you know, Mr. Enforcer, the more you break out my words, domino effect, I like that. I've been using that for about a year already. But, Mr. Enforcer, hold on. Am I to understand, am I to be clear, am I to understand and get this straight, that my my name and my telephone number popped up on someone's caller ID? Is there, Am I clear to understand this, sir? Affirmative. Affirmative, okay. May I ask what name popped up on that caller ID, sir? The name that you use. Sir, you're not telling the world nothing, dog. Everybody's got my phone numbers. They see my number when I call. I'm a little curious to know what name came across your screen. While I'm being accused of calling these monkey junkie cheerleaders whom I don't know, phone numbers I don't got, I'm just curious to know what name your two crying eyes seen. Look, look, I'm not going to get involved with you. Try to get that out of him, dog. Try to keep him talking. Try to ask questions that need to be asked here. He's got nothing. Well, you know, Mr. Enforcer, Mr. Enforcer, you're accusing me of being a perpetrator. I mean, I want to know what it is our perpetrator, dog. I want to know what name you seen on the caller ID. Because obviously, you clowns don't believe I'm Richard Vincent Capuano, little Richie Cappy of that big family. Like half these half men out here know for a fact I am. So I'm just kind of curious. Was it Andrew Archer? Was it the fake, fake cartoon character you guys gave me? I mean, come on, Doc. What name popped up on the caller ID? Did it say Nemesis Radio? Richie, Richie, come on, man. Time is time, Richie, man. I got things to do, man. All right, Capital, let me put my sneakers on. I'll be out in about two minutes. I was just trying to get a little information from that alleged cop out there. I guess he's not crying. He's a police officer today. All right. Uh, I'll be, you know what? I, you know, I got a house call to do. I got to go do a TV and a sound system. Capital, let me get my shoes and shirt on. I'll be right out, sir. Michael, maybe you can find out what name came across the caller ID. Oh, I get it. I get it. And the caller ID said, Sir Richard. Slandering you, Rich. That's a law abiding citizen. And you set up to people's houses or an individual's house. That's a crime, my brother. Remember that. It's a crime. It's a criminal act. You don't believe me? Look up. Look up the laws. You know? Because uh, all you got to do is get documents, records, phone records. It's not very hard to do. But uh, you and your buddies, they're uh, going a little too far, man, you know? You got problems against them face-to-face. You don't have to send agencies to... Watch this. It's cowardly and it's pussy, all right? You, Brian, and that Michael Action, you guys are... You got your little team going on over there. But it's all good, man, because the last laugh is uh, not going to be yours. But uh, do what you got to do. Play stupid, play ignorant, go, go to work, go do your crack, smoke your dope, whatever you do. But uh, like I said, that's defamation of character, Mike. Yeah, Rich, he's, uh, he's, he's giving you and I defamation of character. <laughs> and, uh, Mikey, I got to get out of here. I got to drive around my corner, so I'm out, guys. I'll catch y'all guys later on. I'm going to stop this video gate in about 10 seconds and start the other one. Uh, you know, Mike, I think what happened is I think maybe the authorities are hearing shit on the radio, their own self, because, you know, every police station got to see me. And uh, you know what I think, Mike? I think they figured out that uh, it's good to use Richie because Richie is the... Uh, Richie's the detonator, you know. If they can tell him Richie was involved, they'll keep that motherfucker talking to they get everything they want out of his mouth. As you can see, it's partially working. With that, the king of New York is back. Wow. Yeah, Richie's. Uh,